press start. Hello everyone and welcome to the tutorial for this elevator behind me. What I do want to say before we start is that I would really recommend that you watch the actual presentation of this elevator so that you actually know what it functions like. To start you want to build a platform like this 5x4. So on this block right here you want to build a wall 3 blocks high, punch out the hole for the door and the lamp. Put the door in place, doesn't matter on which side. Put the rest of the lamp here, stone button and electron. And you want to repeat the same process for as many floors as you want to have. With the maximum amount of floors being obviously 15. The um, rather unfortunate thing about elevators which don't utilize all the 15 floors being that you still need all the 15 pages in those books. They can be empty, you just need them. If you go higher than the amount of your floors, you will just go to the top floor. And so you want to repeat the same process as I already said for all the floors. Just like this. And I'm going to just build five floors and roll with that. Once you've got all of your floors completed, you will want to go to the back side of the entire mechanism. This here is, this block right there is where your lectern is, like there. You will need to put a comparator here, or one block further down, put some from here, block here, block here comparator, and another block right here. Then you'll want to put a sticky piston over this comparator right here, then put a block here. Right here where the lamp is you'll want a piston, leave one block empty and then put a redstone block here. On the other side of the redstone block you'll want a piston like this, then you'll want to put a block here, here and here, and then put right some on all of those blocks. Here you'll want your normal piston, and then you also put a block here with a piece of redstone dust. Next thing you're gonna do is you will want to put a redstone torch on this block right here. Six blocks like this. And then one here and one here. Redstone, redstone, and comparators going like this. Then you will need a sticky piston here with, a, with any block on its face which can conduct electricity. A block here, redstone repeater here. Then you'll want to go one, two, three, four blocks out of here. Run it into a block and then put a dropper on this block right here. And the last thing you want to do is you will need a repeater here as well as here. This exact same module will have to be repeated for all the floors you'll have. Make sure that the entire system works reliably for an extended period of time or rather for an infinite amount of time you will need to refill all those droppers constantly which means they all need to be connected using a hop online like this. You also need glass around them, going all the way down. And then at the bottom, you will need two hoppers there, all feeding into this one dropper here. And all the glass will obviously need here, in order for the items to not fall out of the tube. Then for the items to go back up, you need to create an item elevator like this by quite simply just putting glass on all the sides of this kind of pillar out of glass here. It doesn't really necessarily need to be glass, it can be any single block, but glass just kind of looks cool. At the very top you will want to put some hoppers like this in order for the items to jump back into this. And so now, which is probably the most expensive part of the entire thing, except for like maybe all the hoppers, servers and pistons, you will need to fill all those hoppers and droppers with items. That being said, they can be any items. So for example, you could use wooden shovels, which don't stack. 
meaning you can only have one in each slot, which wouldn't make it as expensive as I initially thought. Once you've got all the droppers and hoppers filled in with items, you will want to build an item clock at the very bottom, right here. By going out of the dropper right here with a comparator, a block here, then write some dust here, block here, block here, repeater here, repeater here, block here, write some dust here, write some dust here. A block here actually, and then there's some dust here. And then you want to go one, two, three, four, five, six blocks out in this direction. And then one, two blocks in this direction. Then want to put right some dust all over it. Now all the modules will need to be connected to this power line right here, which means you need to put a repeater here, make it a block here, put a some piece on top of there and then create a slab tower going all the way up to the very top of this tower. When you have all of your slabs in place, just put redstone dust on top of all of them. Now you will need to activate the system for the first time, just put a button on this power line right here, and then press it. And if you reset your system and you see that some of those some blocks still haven't been pushed over, that means you need a few repeaters in the system. We can do this quite simply by putting some touch here, another here, and then block here. Now if we press this button once again, you will be able to see that all the redstone blocks are pushed over to the side. Now if you go to the panels once again and press any single button, you will see that this button will stay active, but the other buttons aren't going to turn on. Now if you click on any other button, this button at the top there will turn off, and this button at the bottom there will stay activated. If you press this button right there, this button will disable, and this one will stay active. Next step is transporting the comparator signal downwards, and I would start at the very top floor, at this comparator right here. You've got this block right there, you will need a block here. And then you will need to go all the way down using an X kind of cross pattern like this. Just place the blocks like that. When you get to this lever here at the very bottom, you will want to remove this block, put a block here, here and here, and also one here of this blue color. And now you will have to put all the comparators in going like this. And also one here. And now you should see that if you take a book with 15 pages like this and put in every single one of those lecterns, the page selected by the active lectern will be shown down here on this redstone line. So if you look at this on the right side, we're going to see power level 5 and the floor selected is 5. Now it's 6 and the power level is also 6. If you go here and put the floor to, for instance, 9 and click the button, we'll be able to see that the power level changes to 9. And then you want to create this kind of comparator line with 1, 2, 3 comparators. And then you will also need one going off the side, like this. Next step will be to build the entire water tube, which you will need for traveling upwards. You want to put all the blocks on this side like this, then you will also need a lot of blocks on this side. At the very bottom you will need the one block down and put a water source there over a piece of salt sand. Next step is to put dispensers with water buckets in them going all the way up the top floor. You don't need the dispensers on those last two blocks of the water elevator. Now you're going to want to alternate between a normal piston and a block all the way up until you hit the top floor 
where you will not need to go any further. Now going back to the very bottom, you will want to put two blocks at the end of this comparator and then two pieces of redstone dust there. You need a block here, you will need a block here, a redstone comparator here, a block there, the redstone dust here, block here, block here. And now you will need a comparator there, block, redstone, block. Comparator here, block, redstone, then block the side, comparator here, and then two blocks with redstone here. Then you will need the comparator here. Goes into a block, and then a piece of dust on the top of it. And now you will need to repeat the same process. Block, comparator, block, piece of redstone dust, Block, block, comparator, block, piece of redstone dust, block, block, comparator, block and block, redstone, redstone, block, comparator, block, piece of redstone dust. And then again, block, comparator, block, block, and um, redstone, block, comparator, block. Redstone, block, comparator, block, block, redstone, redstone, comparator, block, and redstone. And you will need to do this for all the floors except for the last one, quite obviously. Meaning that the last block, so where you won't put your piece of redstone nor a block to the side, will be at the same level as the last normal piston this line right here. Once you've got all of this in place you will want to go one block out of all of those blocks on this side and then you will want to put a redstone repeater on all of them. Here, here, here and here. And the very last step is to put observers going out of those repeaters on every single one of them. Then three blocks up using the same kind of observer. And wherever you've got this block, instead of a piston, you also put an observer there. And this was everything that had to be done, believe it or not. We can test it by going to any single floor, picking a random floor number and confirming our request. The water will then be placed and will let you travel up or down. If you now want to go back to floor 2, you can do that. The water will simply disappear and you will go down to this floor. Floor 3, for instance, will also work quite simply like this. If you want to go back to level 1, you can do just that. And if you choose a floor which exceeds the total amount of floors and then activate it, you will just go to the last floor available. And just to show it all working once again, I'm going to pick floor number 3. I'll stand here and wait for everything to work. And there it is, floor number 3. This is the end of this tutorial. While this elevator does look pretty difficult to build, it's actually really simple if you follow those simple steps step by step. If you enjoyed this video, please do leave a like button, it really helps my channel get out there to a wider audience of people. And if you want to see more creations like those elevators right there, I would recommend you subscribe to my channel, but once again, thank you for watching and see you later.